Crypto Activator here and welcome to the DeFi series. If you're interested in wanting to know more about crypto and DeFi, what exactly is DeFi, how you could use DeFi, and how to actually create income and passive income with DeFi, well, you're going to want to watch through this video. In fact, you're going to want to watch through this series. In this series, I'm going to break down DeFi into bite-sized pieces in small videos where you can take in the information, learn more about what DeFi is, how DeFi works, how you can actually become your own bank, create income and passive income in the DeFi world with crypto. All right, so let's get started. Okay, all right, this is the introduction. What is DeFi? Decentralized finance. Well, in order to really get into what DeFi is, decentralized finance, I believe we need to really start to understand, or we need to understand, first of all, what CFI is, centralized finance, okay? So CFI is essentially the financial system that we currently use right now, or at least outside of crypto, that is, okay? Outside of the crypto DeFi world. We have right now in society, in our financial systems, we have financial services and these financial services include things like money, currency, uh, with borrowing and lending, stock exchanges, currency exchanges, insurance, and etc. Several other financial services that a person can access through our standard centralized financial systems, right? you know them okay so all of these financial systems and services right they are governed and they're controlled by a central authority these are banks and institutions we rely on these central authorities when we use these systems okay so when we use a central authority that's governing and controlling a financial services we must rely on trust and the downside to all this is fraud, corruption, and of course, mismanagement of funds and of use, right? And then with DeFi, decentralized finance, it's a financial system that is not governed and controlled by a centralized authority. It's decentralized without any central authority to control it, all right? So the question you may be thinking is, well, then who controls the financial system, right? How does that exactly work? Well, the simple answer is no person, no institution actually controls it. Well, then how does that exactly work then? Well, instead, DeFi uses three aspects or three components to make it a decentralized system. Number one, blockchain which is an open source transparent ledger on the internet essentially it is uh, like a, a very large excel spreadsheet that holds and records every transaction every record on the blockchain open for everyone to see completely transparent okay number two cryptography Cryptography is a system of secure communications derived from mathematical concepts. Essentially, when you send a message or you send data to another party, it is using highly encrypted cryptography. And the only way to decipher, to encode and unencrypt this data to be read is through cryptography, high complex uh, complicated mathematical problems, concepts, okay, in order to do that. That is what cryptography is kind of in a nutshell, all right? Number three is smart contracts. Smart contracts are self-executing contracts that will run when predetermined conditions are met. I like to compare this to a vending machine, for example. A vending machine, if you were to go to a vending machine to buy a Coca-Cola, you use your Visa card, your debit card, or put money or cash in, however it works. Once you insert your money, say it's $2, and you press A7 on the vending machine, and it is programmed to dispense a Coca-Cola, well, once those parameters are met, 
by inserting your payment, pressing A7, and the vending machine will then dispense a Coca-Cola for you. If you just walk up to a vending machine and press A7 and hope a Coca-Cola is going to come out, it's not going to because the predetermined uh, conditions were not met. Well, that is the same as a smart contract, okay? As soon as predetermined conditions are met, it will automatically do the, uh, you know, what it was programmed to do. Next questions you may be asking are, what financial services can be used in DeFi? How does all this work? And how do I make money in DeFi? Well, I'm gonna answer all three of them. First of all, what financial services can be used in DeFi? Well, all services can be used in DeFi. Money, currency, trading exchanges, insurance, borrowing, lending. All of this is now decentralized and we no longer need to give up control and authority when it comes to using these kind of financial services. By not having to give up custody and control of your finances, you essentially become your own bank. And the unbanked have now become banked with the help of DeFi and decentralized finance. How does all this work? Well, each financial service and aspect is going to need a whole video all on its own in order to explain it. This is just an introduction. However, the birth and the growth of DeFi started with the decentralization of money or currency. In 2009, Satoshi Nakamoto released the white paper for Bitcoin. This was the creation of the first decentralized currency. No longer did you need to go to a centralized authority to send money to another party. As long as each person has a Bitcoin wallet, one person can then send Bitcoin to the other person. This is peer-to-peer -peer transactions using the blockchain and cryptography to do so. After the creation of Bitcoin, the development of the whole decentralized financial system began. To be able to have a financial services that are decentralized and not controlled by any central authority, you need to have a decentralized infrastructure for these services to be built and operate on. These decentralized infrastructures are networks or blockchains such as Ethereum, BNB chain, or other similar blockchains where developers are able to build decentralized applications with smart contracts. These smart contracts are what enable you to create financial services such as insurance, trading exchanges, lending and borrowing, and other decentralized applications. Like I said, each of these components or services cannot be explained here in an introduction video and would need a whole video on its own to explain. So look forward to more videos in this series that will help explain this world of DeFi. In the meantime, answering the last question, how does a person make money in DeFi? Well, the primary way a person is able to make money in DeFi is through lending and borrowing. And then, of course, with adding or providing liquidity on decentralized exchanges. When it comes to lending and borrowing protocols, a person can lend their crypto by staking it on a protocol where others can come and borrow it. The lender receives interest when staking the crypto, while the borrower pays interest on the crypto that they borrow, much like a bank does. When it comes to decentralized exchanges, instead of using order books with buy and sell orders like centralized exchanges do, DEXs or decentralized exchanges use what's called liquidity pools with automated market makers. Okay, this allows a crypto investor to deposit their crypto, provide liquidity for a particular token or pair on the decentralized exchange, and when you deposit or provide liquidity on a DEX, you then earn rewards from the DEX, as well earn back fees from the transaction fees when people make a trade for that particular token. This is what's known as yield farming, also known as liquidity mining. Much more will be explained on yield farming in further videos in this series, so stay tuned for those videos as well. So hopefully this gives you a good introduction to what DeFi and decentralized finance is 
and even piques your interest into wanting to learn more about DeFi. If it does, well, you may want to subscribe to the channel so you're notified when new videos are released and uploaded to this series. And of course, if you found value in this content, well, smash that like button, drop me a comment down below, and there should be another video somewhere around here that will bring you to the next video in the series. So head on over there now, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.